Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to do a little blue run. This is Reflections 1. So this was a special... I don't know if special is the right word. But this was a release that they put together to kind of... The marketing story. Is that this was a release put together to reflect on the last couple years and how crazy the world is and what now this was sent to me by Todd Trent thank you so much he's one of my patrons and thank you thank you so much now this is a 95 proof 47.5 percent alcohol and it's blue run reflections one now it's got the uh, the silver butterfly I hear there's actually sterling silver in there I don't know whatever I'll pop it off of there later and and uh, probably do something with it you know me I mean I'm here in Santa's workshop you know I'm gonna do something with it so yeah so let's talk about blue run for a minute I've had I've had a bunch of samples of blue run a bunch of different ones the high rye I uh, honestly I don't even remember them all I'd have to go back and try to look and see but I've had a bunch of different samples of Blue Run and I have not been a huge fan now this stuff is contract distilled at Castle and Key I'm not a huge fan of what I've tasted from Castle and Key either uh, of their main line so I don't know I'm not sure what it is it just so far hasn't quite agreed with my palate, I guess, would be the best way to say it. So let's see. Let's see if this is the one that wins me over. Maybe it will be. Maybe this is the, the magical juice. Now, this is about four years old. The release date was 4-19-2022. Batch Spring Bottle 3,618. So, decent size batch. Huh. Let's go. Let's see. Let's nose. Let's taste. Now, I get a bit of wet dog funk. It's like a, a funky, earthy tone that kind of hits me like a wet dog. And I, I get that on some whiskeys. I get it on some bourbons, and I get it on some scotch. And I'm not sure what that is, if it's a yeast thing, or if it's a malt thing, or what it is, but there's this funky, earthy, grainy note. Nice amount of rye. Vanilla, cherry. Little hint of spearmint. In that wet dog newt. Let's taste. Oh, it comes across a bit salty. The wet dog note does not come through to the palate. The palate is spicy. The palate is definitely spicy. And it's got some nice caramel, some nice citrus to it. Mild sweet oak. The nose is turning a little more aromatic, a little more pungent rye. A little more butterscotch. A little cinnamon spice. Almost a hint of like nutmeg even. Lots of lots of baking spices. The palate is spicy and somehow, or in some way, a bit imbalanced to me. It it just kind of, it's like just kind of punching around blindly instead of being a cohesive tasting experience. It's like, it's like these disjointed notes 
instead of like a nice even thing. I don't know. I'm not I'm not super impressed. Not super impressed by it. It's okay. It's not bad. It's just not great. I guess that's the way I would describe it. It's good. Not great. Thank you, Todd. I mean, yeah, Todd Trent. <laughs> My brain went to somebody that I know whose last name is Todd, and I was going to go say their name. Thank you, Todd, for this. I really appreciate it. It's very interesting. It's just not... It just doesn't quite agree with my palette it's just something's off about it and it and honestly it kind of reminds me of um the 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 release that i had from castle and key the batch one just don't love it thanks for watching until next time have a great day